Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing this shimmery eye look with a pink lip and coral blush. And if you want to see how I achieve this look, keep watching. And please subscribe if you like what you saw. Thanks, have a great day. I'm going to go in with my True Match L'Oreal. Um, this is my first time using, buying this stuff actually. It's been, I know it's been around for forever. But I've just now used it and it's really nice. I really like it. It's a light coverage, nothing too crazy, which I'm kind of not used to. I'm used to kind of like a full coverage look but I've been going for it and I like it this is the real tech sneak brush not sure which one but it's pretty obvious if you see it in the store it's a great blush for foundation brush <laughs> for foundation I love it it's so great at just blending out everything and just making it all look really nice next I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Age Rewind concealer um, I love this stuff it is amazing I think y'all all heard me talk about it already awesome kind of put it liberally all over my face because it is just awesome you can't really go wrong you can never put too much I feel like and then I'm gonna take the Sila um, number 33 brush I love this thing for concealer I don't like to use my fingers to really blend out anything I don't know fit me powder I love this stuff I just tried it it's the um, matte and poreless line I think there's another powder too that isn't the matte and poreless but I love this stuff like this is amazing I just got done using the MAC uh, mineralized um, skin finish and this is way better. Um, I really really like it. So yeah, I'm just gonna take this and with the Sigma I have the old numbers, so it's SS 150. I'm gonna go in with the Park Avenue Princess bronzer from Tarte. It's this little mini one. I love this stuff. It is pretty oh my god, I like hair on <laughs> my face from my brushes. But anyways, um this is amazing. I love it. For time pouring, it's pretty dark for uh, what I'm used to, but I'm just going to take this SS129, the old numbers, and just kind of blend where my contour is for sure. It has shimmer in it, but like I can't really see it. That's why I still use it for like a contour-ish type of thing. I know people usually don't like to use shimmer for contour, but I feel like I can get away with it with this one. You definitely have to blend this out really well because it can look patchy. And I've worn this a lot and I'm like, oh my gosh, I need a blending brush now. But yeah, just blend it out, make sure it looks great. And it's amazing bronzer. I love the shade. It's amazing. And then I'm just gonna put it on the top of my forehead. And blush. I'm going to use the Coralista blush. I love this stuff. It's such a pretty coral color, obviously. It smells amazing. I love it. It's great. Anyways, I'm gonna go back in with that same bronzer brush, but I used the tip of it for the bronzer and I'm going to use the flat side as a blush because I love this brush. It is so universal and I love the effect it gets from blush. You can just get right where you need it and that's how I like the blush to look. Just right on the corners. Blend it in with the bronzer. such a pretty color and I absolutely love coral blushes and I love this one. So that's all for blush. Highlight, I'm going to use my all time favorite. This is the Stila Kitten. I can't get away from it. It's just so great. I already hit pan. I was like, no. But this color is too dark. I think for the summer it'd probably be nice. But I use a lighter color. And I'm just going to use this tiny brush from Sonia Kasha. Or if I said that right. <laughs> Like a tiny brush. I like to use tiny brushes for highlighters because you can kind of get more control and it'll show up more. So this highlighter is just so beautiful. It's so shimmery. I'm just gonna put it down my nose and on the edge of my for eyeshadow primer. I'm gonna go in with the Urban Decay um, in Minor Sin Primer Potion. I really like this stuff. Um, it's kind of hard to get the product out, which is kind of annoying, but you know I work with it. I love shimmery primers. I just think it adds a nice base if you're going for shimmery colors maybe not for a matte color though but if you're going for that shimmery look why not add a shimmery primer to add to that i love this stuff i love urban decay in general it's a great brand great products definitely my favorite this bronzer and take like a blending brush this is the ss224 old one of course i need to figure out what those numbers are but i'm just gonna use this to blend in my crease. Um, it's just a great matte powder. It's great for the blending eyeshadow. And it's just, if you ever have a bronzer, it's really nice to use the bronzer as like the crease color because 
it's kind of already matching what you, I don't know, what's on your skin. And it looks really great. So I'm going to go in with this um, Urban Decay Anniversary Palette. Um, I'm not for sure. This may be the 15th. I may be totally off. I think it's the 15th. I'm just guessing. I don't know. If any of y'all have this, it's amazing. And if you don't, look on eBay or somewhere because this palette is like amazing. Like, I've never found such a great palette. It has a lot of diverse colors in it. Like, they have some brights and then some darker shades, some browns. It just has everything. The only thing it doesn't have is matte. So, you have one matte and it's a black. So, if you don't like that, probably don't get it. So, I'm going to go in with the Midnight 15. This color is so beautiful. I love this color. It is my go-to. I'm just going to take this flat brush. I think it's for concealer. It's from Sigma. But I like to use it to pack on my lid color. I think it works really nicely for that. So I'm just going to apply that all over the lid. And then it's just like a... I don't even know how to describe it. It's just like... It's great for all over the lid. It's just... Is it too light? It just has like this pretty silverish color to it. It's a very unique color. I love it so much. Just apply that all over the lid. Not being too precise. And yeah, it's a really pretty shimmer. Next, I'm going to go in with this kind of goldish brown color. And it's called Deeper. It is a great crease color. And I'm going to go in with this A Cosmetics brush. Not sure which one on this either. But it is a great blending brush. I love it Cosmetics. And I like blending brushes like this. I think you can get really good control. And I really like it. So just going to apply that to the crease. It is great for blending. It just blends why it's like going. So it's just like two in one. You don't have to take a blending brush later and blend it out. It just, it's already doing that job. Oh my gosh, sorry, my cats are fighting. Cause they always fight. <laughs> They're crazy. It's just blending that. I love this dark brown color. such a pretty color too and yeah go back in with that deeper shade and take a uh, urban decay the naked two brush and this is great for underneath the eyes um it is so amazing like i've never found such a great brush to blend underneath the eyes so just blending that underneath my eye make sure to not go too far into that corner My go-to, this is the Vanilla Pigment from MAC. I love this stuff. Can't get enough of it, it's so great. So just putting that in my inner corner. And underneath my eye. I love how pretty this is. You can just add like a whole different way to anything. It's amazing, I put this everywhere. <laughs> it's a great highlighter as well. Next, I'm gonna go in with my favorite eyeliner, the L'Oreal Linear Intense. And I'm just gonna put the thin line below my eye. Next, I'm gonna go in with my shoe Uyamara um, eyelash curler. This thing is amazing. Definitely recommend checking this eyelash curler out. And then I'm gonna take my No Fail False Seas Mascara. It is amazing. These brows definitely need done. Um, I'm gonna take this Dallas bronzer again. Like this bronzer can do anything, I swear. And I'm just gonna go through my eyebrows. It is my all time favorite. <laughs> it's the Revel on Lip Butter and um, Strawberry Shortcake. I used to love these things. I'm pretty sure everyone did. Um, still does, probably. I don't know. But I love this shade. It is so freaking pretty. It is the prettiest natural. Um, pinkish color not being too bright pink and not being too light pink it's just perfect it's kind of a simple look i really like brown shadows and stuff like that especially for every day i don't want to go too crazy but i really like this look it is shimmery pretty subtle but still adds like that you know all over great look so i really hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned if you like what you saw um leave your request if you have any ideas for me like any 
just anything i'm down for anything um anything you're interested in about me any questions anything leave them down below and please subscribe also if you want me to check out your channel leave them below and i definitely will thanks have a great day bye